Welcome back. This is Kim. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Is your home address wrong on your phone? Do your Google Maps or Apple Maps have the wrong address listed for your home location? Mine somehow got set to Nebraska. I live in California. It's a little frustrating when you click to go home and uh, it's going to take 29, mi 29 hours. <laughs> uh, anyways, is your home address incorrect? Because I never went in and set my actual address inside of Apple Maps, my home address is set to a location in Nebraska. It says United States. I have a feeling that that might be the middle of the United States, the geographical center or something, and that's where it just randomly puts the location. I live in Southern California. When I select to go home, it's a very long drive. I found out how to easily change that setting in both Google Maps and Apple Maps. My Google Maps home was actually set to my work address somehow, so uh, let's fix these problems. It's really easy. Okay, so let's do Google Maps first. This works for iPhone users. I am not sure about Android. Okay, so basically open up Google Maps app. Here we go. Click on your picture in the top right of the screen inside the search box. So you click on that and then it's going to give you your list of changes that you can make. So now we're going to click on settings, which is right here. Okay. Scroll down. There's more stuff up here. So you have to scroll down and choose edit home or work. Then this window comes up and you're going to choose labeled. This will allow you to choose which address you use for home and which one for work. I've deleted the wrong addresses, so then now I can just put the new ones in. So you click on set once and go for home. You'll need to edit these addresses one at a time. So we're going to do home first. It only takes a few seconds to do each one. Now you just type in your address. You can choose it on a map. You can choose it from your contacts. And then when you're done, click done. If you did home and now want to add work, complete the same steps. It's very easy, super easy, super fast. So um, Apple Maps is even easier. Open up the Apple Maps app, which looks like this. Uh, type home in the search right here. This is the one that thinks I live in Nebraska. Actually, if you've never entered in your information, that's the point it picks. So right here, see it says United States. I have a feeling this is the geographical center of the United States. So I'm in California here, and let's say I was at uh, work and I wanted to go home. <laughs> 20 hours and 38 minutes is the fastest route to Nebraska. <laughs> I don't really want to go to Nebraska, obviously. Does anybody want to go to Nebraska? Well, maybe. Um, anyways, so let's change it. So once you're on the page where it has incorrect home address, drag up the bottom portion of the screen. So you drag up this little thing and choose change address. Click on the little pencil and enter the correct address. It's really super simple. Um, this is where you can also um, refine your location of the pin. So this is really great for like people that have food delivery, especially if you're like in an apartment building or something and the address pulls up the entire apartment complex and the pin just goes like maybe where the office is or the center of the complex. If you move that pin to your actual location within the apartment complex, um, it'll make it a lot easier for delivery drivers. Or let's say your pin, um, I've seen this also, where the pin will be in, on your street, but not over your house. It'll be like in the center of the street. So just, you can move the pin to be right on top of your house. It just makes things easier. Anyways, that's it. It's super simple. So now you can go in and fix your address in Google Maps and Apple Maps. It'll help you navigate home quicker and easier from your iPhone. I hope this was helpful. I tried to make this short and sweet. People say I talk too much, so um, there you go.
I hope, hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.